we're happy that we uh, we got the video, the victory in the city game. Uh, we, uh, as a team, are, are very happy to always uh, to get a win. Um, very frankly, this is an early season game, uh, and we played like it was an early season game. Uh, we were very sloppy. Shots that we typically make uh, did not go in for us. Um, you know, you can credit Pitt for some of that, uh, but I think it was more ourselves. Uh, I did not think that we played well. Um, we were four for 17 at point blank range in the first half. Four for 17 is 23%. You can't shoot that and win. We were better in the second half around the basket, but uh, we have a lot of mistakes that we've got to clean up and get better at. Uh, with that being said, um, I, I'm, I'm really pleased with how Utah played with great confidence tonight and really shot the ball very, very well. Um, you know, we did a, a lot of really good things with uh, getting points off turnovers, uh, but we're, we're clearly going to have to learn how to defend better in the post. Uh, but we're happy that we got the win. I feel like we ask you all kind of a variation of this question every year after you guys beat Pitt. But um, I mean, even just some, you know, even just symbolically, I know it's a non-conference game this early in the year. What is for, for you guys? What is a win like this? You know, you're eight in the past nine. I know you all weren't here for, for most of it. But what does it kind of mean to you and symbolize you all? I mean, personally, being from Pittsburgh and being from this hometown, um, we know what the rivalry game is and what it's about, and you got to come ready to play every time. And um, as how I am, I treat it just like any other game. Um, but you already know when you come to the rivalry game, you have to have uh, you have to step up your game. So when I came here like three years ago, <clears throat> I was just like, okay, yeah, we're playing Pitt. It's just another game. But then I see all my American teammates, they're just, I mean, they're all hyped for every game, before every game. But this game means so much to them, and like being with them and with coaches, I, re I just experienced uh, the same as them. So we're just always like so nice to be them, because we're better than them, 100%. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's, it's tough to play early in a season, a rivalry game like this. Uh, we were not happy with where the game was scheduled. Uh, you know, we think that uh, that this game should be a jewel and that it should be played on a, on a weeknight where there's not a Steelers game, where there is more media coverage. And, and thank you all for being here. Uh, but, you know, we'd like to get – we want to increase girls' basketball and women's basketball in western Pennsylvania. Uh, we, we would prefer to play this. Uh, on a Friday or Saturday evening or a Sunday afternoon, uh, a little bit later in the year when both teams are going to be at their or, or be better. Uh, because right now it's again early season basketball, and you know I can only speak for our team, but we certainly made a lot of mistakes tonight. And uh, you know hopefully next year we'll be able to get that game scheduled a little bit deeper into the uh, the, the schedule. Dan, Annie's effort on the boards tonight. What do you make of that as she continues to make her presence felt off that with her ten rebounds tonight? I told Annie before the year began that she would lead the league in the Atlantic, the Atlantic 10 in rebounding. And, you know, if you can get 10 rebounds, you're going to play. I don't care if you're a guard, point guard, five foot four, or six foot six. If you can get 10 rebounds in a game, you have provided a great value. And so, you know, that's what I told her at the beginning of the year. You know, I, I thanked her for redshirting to get better as a basketball player. And when you can get 10 boards in 24 minutes, uh, you've got to be really happy with that. Now, she's, she's got to get better. She was pretty good defensively tonight. Um, offensively, she's got to get a little sharper. Uh, but, you know, Anikou has given us a lot of, a, a lot of good minutes. And, uh, you know, we, we've, we're kind of by committee in the post at this point. And, uh, again, it's early season. Once we get into December and we've played more games and we've got more experience, I think we'll be better off. Because when you really look at our post game, only Kadrian Loss has played minutes for us. Paige Cannon and Eniku both sat as freshmen and didn't play. They redshirted last year. Held me as a true freshman. Uh, we really have no other experienced post player. With a game like this, obviously it being so close to, uh, to you all being a traditional rival, I mean, for you know, for you all playing on the court, is I mean, I know it's not really a season game. Is there a different intensity to it? Does it sort of feel different than your average? Not conference game or even some conference games. I no, I didn't feel a difference, but I mean it is early, like you said. Um, we have a lot to improve on, 
and we're not playing our best basketball yet because it's the third game of the season. But I mean, I feel our intensity, our energy, uh, everything was still there. Dan, in the uh, late first, early second, you put Amanda on Yassine, and it seemed to, it seemed to frustrate her when she came in and was giving you guys an extra look. What was the intention of putting Amanda on defense in that situation for that with that matchup? Well, Yassine is is their best offensive player, and she kind of she, she makes them go, and so we wanted to give her. Uh, we wanted to give her Connor, and we wanted to give her Amanda Kalen, because Connor Richardson and Amanda Kalen are our two best uh, on-ball defenders. And so that's you know, and Connor needed a break. Connor also had picked up two <laughs> fouls at some point, and so you know that Amanda Kalen's going to be that first guard off the bench for us right now. Uh, Libby Basilak, who did not play a lot of minutes tonight, she only played six, but she's really stepped up her game in practice, and she's really good at feeding the post. I can see her, her see herself earning more minutes as we get further into the year. Uh, but again, you know, the theme of tonight is it's, it's, it's very early in the year. And when you look at the youth that we have, we have four kids that have played a lot of minutes. And then we have a lot of red shirts and freshmen who have not. And so, you know, we've got a lot of growth that will hopefully uh, grow. That's a, that's a bad statement. We have a lot of growth that we hope that will happen in a very short period of time. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> Coach, something I noticed during the game was that the bench, especially, was so much more just enthusiastic throughout the game than almost any bench I've ever seen. Can you speak just the positivity you know, on that sideline and how it could help the team in a game like this? Well, I think one of the things that we do within our program is, is we really try to take a positive approach in the way that we coach our players, uh, whether that's in practice, off the court, or on the court in games. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. We had a big pro-Duquesne crowd out there tonight. There was a lot of Duquesne people there. And, and you know we heard the red and blue crew in the end zone, and, and it, it, that's going to get your players jacked up and get them excited. And, and you know it, I don't care what anybody says; I say it every year. It's the city game; it matters. I don't care what anyone says; it matters, and it is a little bit more important. It, it, it matters, and so we're just happy that we got the W tonight. It's early season basketball. It's sloppy. You've said that a couple of times already. But to hold on and to hold serve in that fourth quarter when they cut it to single when they cut it to single digits when maybe you're not playing your best, what does that say about the character of this team? Well, it scared me um, because because Coach Sirio Susie is a very good basketball coach, and if we start getting into a situation where we're calling timeouts and we're slowing the game down and they're going to get possessions, and they have Yasin who can get to the hole and just about anybody, uh, that was of great concern. Um, but we made good decisions down the stretch uh, defensively. I thought Paige Cannon on the one flat hedge was excellent. Um, and then we rebounded the ball, and that was the most critical aspect of it. Uh, they missed some shots, and we were able to rebound it, and we made free throws at the end. 